Go ahead. Me, Suburban Gamer, bringing you a little episode on Ark Survival Evolved. Today we are just going to do a little first video for my new YouTube channel. And it's just our first base build. <coughs> and just before we get straight ahead, I am going to let you know I do suffer from a disability called Tourette's. And now don't worry, it's not the swearing kind. I have a tendency to make a couple of slight coughing noises and a little little noise if you like. You will pick up in the video. And if this is gonna bother any of you, I do apologise. So it's probably best not to watch if you can't put up with it. Again I do apologise. So with that being said, on with the little video. <coughs> right. So we're here on the centre map on the new Redwood and this cave that we've taken over is right here on the map. As you can see we're actually off the map at 70 longitude and I'll take it that's about 100 lat. <coughs> so yeah, definitely, definitely a prime location this if you want the base build. A few little things to warn you though if you do decide to come on down here. You can't build past this point it will not let you lay anything down which in a way is good because you want to keep this open for all your farming of your metal and crystal and stone and also you don't want to keep any dinos down each side of here you leave dinos down here they will despawn we have found that out ourselves quite a few times so anyway, to start with, obviously as you can see this is our metal farm and we have our industrial forge right here along with generator, chem bench, industrial grinder, <coughs> fabricator, smithy and turrets which are actually off which I think we'll put some gasoline in that in a couple of minutes. So as we come up on this ramp, you will come into our base, the back end of it. Oh, nice. Nice little uh, egg there. I'll pick that up right now. <coughs> yeah, that was a nice little spot. Anyway, as you can see, these are fridges. Let's slap that in there. <coughs> and we have done, got quite a lot of fertilised eggs. As you can see here, we have a lot of fertilised quetz eggs. <coughs> uh, what we got? Rex eggs, raptors, I do believe, RG and pterodon. So, on with the video, we got a generator here, another fabricating smithy here. Here's a, a spino, yes, it's very bright and colourful. We've just been playing with the uh, colour settings on the dinos. We will be changing it to something more macho, I think. Here's a little Anki for a metal farm. This again is absolute. This is level 416. He is high level. He's been spawned in. <laughs> I won't lie. As you can see, melee damage 649. It takes out a metal node in about two two hits and collects nearly, I'd say, about eight 900 a hit. And onto our dire bear. As you can see nothing going near him, that was just a, a beast we've always wanted one so we thought we'd tame one. Over here we've got Rex, or oh, should I say Roxette. So we a skeleton skin on. A load of storage. Also we do have a castroid or beaver. And if, if you haven't tamed a beaver, we highly recommend you do. In no tribe or single player for that matter should go over the beaver. Now as you can see <laughs> this is from one farm out on the Redwood Forest about five ten minutes out and you can see the amount of wood we got. Also it is a mobile smithy. <laughs> um, I've just learned my ink mine wipes so I haven't got no engrams yet. <laughs> um, so it's a mobile smithy and if you look 100 wood, which would usually weigh 100, now only weighs 10. 
it has a big buff for weight so as you see 812 weight so far and if that was in your normal inventory there's a few thousand weight there so anyway if we go on up and a little lift here Here we have our two party going quetzals if you like. Mojito, good name for the colour I suppose. Very bright on though. Well, again we've just been playing with the uh, colours. Oh, a little bit of lag there, I do apologise if you've seen that. If we come on in here, here's our little dung beetle. Again, you definitely need to get a dung beetle. They are absolutely amazing for furt. Just drop a bit of poo in there, or crap, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Go away, come back in 10-15 minutes, and it'll be full of furt. <laughs> As you can see, it's a bit of a scrappy base building here, and there's a reason for that. There is building limits in here, on the ceiling <laughs> of the cave. It won't quite let you build in certain areas, so we have had to botch it up. <laughs> but we can deal with that. As you can see, enough room to fit a lot of dinos up here. We primarily keep this one for all the flyers and all the land dinos downstairs. Now, if we come through this waterfall, and come up here, you'll see we've taken a, this full little run. Yes, we have a lot of plant Texas. And we know we need it because we've got a couple of people on this server that they really like to hit, hit bases. And especially us being admin, they really like to try and come at us. So we, we welcome it, like I say, the server will be up, up in up to 50 people next month, at the moment we've got it up on 10, but we will be putting the link to all our forum, Twitch, obviously you've got the YouTube, Twitter, and also the server for ARC, and a forum that we will be creating in the coming weeks, so do check them out, and if you would like to come and join our server, don't bother just giving us a message, We'll get right back to it. And carry on then here. As you can see. We put all these BMS around. And another one. This gigantic trafficus. You've probably got one. If not, you have to get one. You have to tame one of these. As you know, fibre is a big thing in the game. You need it to build everything. And as you can see, this we've left this Gigantophus out here now for what? I'd say four hours. And as you can see, he just walks around and the fibre he gets is absolutely ridiculous. <coughs> so we haven't got to worry about that. If we come out the one side of the door, well, I'll fly over. You've got this ridge here. And as you can see, a lot of little plant life if you like. I do tend to keep my graphics right the way down, and that way, as you can see, you can see exactly what you're going to be farming. I find with... When you have your graphic, your ground clutter up high, for instance, you can't see half this because it's just covered in high grass. But yeah, so the best thing to do here is if you can get a Bronto up here. Give it a few swipes every 10-15 minutes as it spawns back. And you will get a lot of not berries and other berries. Do what you need. And obviously as you can see there's a lot of stone up here. Now if we go through to the next side. I do apologise, arches are pretty slow. And even this one we've... Uh, Yes, yeah, 152% movement speed. As I say, if you get your brunt up here, and uh, trust me, it is very long hike to get a brunt up here, but you can. And this side you've got again, lots of metal nodes, some more stone, and some more bushes, plants, whatever you want to call them. Now, one thing that you will not get, and me and the rest of the tribe, we have searched the whole of Redwood. 
you will not get obsidian and also oil nodes they do not spawn at all <laughs> here in redwood and also which i'm pretty shocked at because there is a lot of little pools <laughs> silica pearls not spawn on here either so just remember that if you decide to build in redwood <laughs> you will not be getting obsidian oil oh and silica pearls so I would recommend you get yourself a Quetz or an RG that's got put a lot of weight on. So you can go and farm your obsidian, silica and oil. Anyway, <coughs> hope you're enjoying my video. I hope my uh, my Tourette's hasn't bothered you too much. <laughs> so I do apologise if it has. Well anyway, this is Subham Gamer. This is my first video. I hope you've enjoyed it, if you did enjoy it, and if you'd like to see a lot more uh, videos put up, we have got some plans of putting up some videos of spawning in and taming a 150 Titanosaurus, also tree base building, uh, we'll be putting up a lot of tutorials on this channel as well, so subscribe, like, and follow us on Twitter, I will put all the links you would need in the description underneath. So, this is from me, Subhome Gamer. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much. Take care.